Good day, Neil here. The HF35 hybrid transaxle in the Ford Escape and similar HF45 in the Ford Maverick is quite an engineering feat, simplicity and efficiency. Everything I have read or watched about how the transaxle operates just left me with more questions. How does it work? What is happening when the engine is turning off and on? I couldn't picture it. Here, I illustrate the components, their interactions, my four scans set up, and some road test highlights showing what is exactly happening with the electric motors, engine, and battery in real time. Let's get started. Here is a 3D view. Note that it is not drawn to scale. So, what is all this stuff? 2.5 liter Atkinson Cycle four-cylinder engine, a planetary gear set that is the key to allowing the integration of an engine with an electric motor. Here are the planetary gears in green, connected via a planet carrier to the engine crankshaft. This setup is necessary because there is no torque converter that is typically found in a transaxle. Here's the sun gear of the planetary gear set, shown in yellow. The sun gear is connected to the starter generator. The ring gear in light blue surrounds the planet gears. It has teeth on the inside of the ring. The ring gear has another external gear to transfer energy. The ring gear is connected to the counter gear, shown in dark blue. The main traction motor, shown in red, provides motive power in forward or reverse, and is also connected to the counter gear that is shown in dark blue. The counter gear is connected to the orange final drive gear. The final drive gear is an open differential connected to a half shaft with CV joints on the left side and connected to an intermediate shaft and half shaft with CV joints on the right side. Here's a slightly different perspective of the components and how it all works. There are two drive modes, battery power only and hybrid battery and engine. Let's look at battery power only. When driving forward on battery power only, motive power is from the red traction motor. See that the starter generator spins in the opposite direction to the traction motor? The starter generator will actually charge the high voltage battery a little bit in this mode. There is no reverse gear, so the red traction motor spins in the opposite direction to move the vehicle backwards. The engine cannot move the vehicle backwards. The second drive mode is hybrid battery and engine. The starter generator starts the engine. The engine crankshaft, the ring gear, and the starter generator spin in the same direction of the traction motor. The engine assists the traction motor in forward mode of power. Also, the engine applies energy to the starter generator, which now charges the high voltage battery a lot. I wanted to see all these interactions in real time, so I used Forescan to record everything on a short road trip. Here are my Forescan settings. Accelerator pedal position, vehicle speed, engine RPMs, traction motor speed, starter generator speed, and high voltage battery voltage. So, with what I've presented so far, is it true or a lie? Let's find out with a short road test. The telemetry gauges from Forescan show the accelerator pedal. As I press the gas pedal, this goes up. Vehicle speed in kilometers per hour. Vehicle speed and the traction motor track together, which makes sense since the traction motor is directly connected to the wheels through the counter gear and final drive gear. That's why this is a one-speed transaxle. The engine RPMs go up when the engine is on. When the engine is off, the RPMs are zero. The starter generator spins in the positive direction or the negative direction. About the middle of the scale is zero RPMs. Finally, the high voltage battery is shown. For this exercise, it tracks between about 191 volts and 242 volts. From a stop, I accelerate. The engine turns on and the starter generator is at positive RPMs. The high voltage battery voltage goes up. Here I am slowly coasting down a hill on battery power only. The engine is off. Notice the high voltage battery is charging a little bit. As I arrive at a hill, I press the accelerator pedal. The starter generator switches to positive RPMs as the engine turns on. The high voltage battery starts charging more. Engine off, then on. It's all seamless. Finally, here I am at a stop. Starter generator is zero RPMs. 
Now I accelerate in battery only mode. Notice the starter generator negative RPMs. Here's a short acceleration to a steady speed with the engine on. I realize this was kind of long and drawn out, but if you've made it this far, thank you for watching.